Your champion is Segura Wheeler. Your challenger is Hermie Hannibal. This ought to be a classic. And I am joined by your current Northeast heavyweight champion, Devin Dambridge. I believe I got that right. Did I get that right? Dandridge. Dandridge. I got it completely and utterly wrong, <laughs> which is par for the course for me. Anyway, Devin, how you doing today? I'm doing all right. Just like a lot of people in here trying to wake up. So, welcome to Sunday morning. But this match, we got something good to wake us up. <laughs> that is true. Now, this is going to be a classic matchup. Hermie Hannibal, a multi-women's champion, New York Hall of Famer. Now, Segura Wheeler is someone that I know that you are very familiar with. Tell us a little bit about her, so, being Segura, that you're both from the DMV for starters. Yes, we are both from the DMV. She is my girlfriend. Aha. Uh -huh. Together, and in the DMV, we are known as the title house. The title house. So you want to keep the titles in the house? Yes, absolutely. All right, so there may be a little bias here from my co-colleague, but that's okay. This is the UVA. We're going to have some fun. Are you ready to have some fun? Absolutely. All right, let's have some fun. More importantly, have a seat. Whenever you're ready. Since I know how much you both love interviews, oh, wait, you don't. Here, we'll have a quick five-second interview. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing okay. I got your boyfriend over there. Uh, uh, okay. He, he, he all right. He stay around. He stay he's, around. He's all right? He's still yeah, around? Yeah. You'll keep him? As long as he get my suit. Uh, I was, uh, what? Your my suit? suit. Your suit. suit. I'm a foodie. Oh, uh, okay. You get you get the food, then you're okay. Yeah. So winning the keeping the belt yesterday didn't mean anything if he doesn't do anything with the food. Yeah, or, and he had to walk home. That was the, if he lost, he had to walk home. We live in Maryland, so it's only 70 miles. That's it. That's it. You can get there today. Exactly. Sort of, kind of. Kind of. Almost. Kind of. All right, I wish you the best. Good luck. Now, now I get the 30-second interview with Hermie. Hello, Hermie. Hello, Gordon. It's like we've been doing this 8,000 times already. Yeah, it's fun. It is fun. It is yeah, fun. It is. If you win today... You, next month, will not be defending the title. You'll be going to Mega Bowl and trying to make a little cash in the North versus South Vixens match. Really? Really. Could be fun. Ah, uh, we see. We shall see. Anyway, since I know how much you love interviews just as much as Sierra does, I will let you get going. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. They let the balls do the talking for them. Both of these bowlers, multi-Northeast champions. Both of them... I would say, I, I know, let's put it this way. Last time I was here, we know what Segura did. Segura shot an 800 the last time that I was doing commentary in three games. And she averaged around 270 in doing it. Hermie, again, New York Hall of Famer. She's good. This is going to be fun. Should be epic. Will not shock me if it goes seven. And we're going to start this match with Segura Wheeler right now. First ball out, and here we go. Strike going on. The first of, I believe, many, many, many strikes that we're going to be seeing today. <coughs> Hermie right now. Here's her first shot, first frame. Game one, here we go. And again, this should not be surprising to anybody that knows either of these bowlers. We, there may be more strikes in this match than any other match that we've seen this weekend. And I mean that in all honesty. Everybody's like, well, there's two Vixens, there's two uh, 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 uh. If you haven't seen either of them bowl, you are here for a treat. <laughs> Segura is looking to keep the titles in the title house. Hermie is looking to get her title back. And here we go. Two in a row for Hermie Hannibal. Gauntlet being thrown down early. Again, this is going to be fun. Just a reminder, this is a seven-game match. Whoever gets the four games first will win the Northeast Vixens title. Or in this case, claim it or reclaim it because, as I said, both of these women have held the belt a multiple number of times. Segura now, second frame, game one. She goes, that ball looks good, and it is. Two in a row, and again, this is not a surprise. It won't shock me at all if we see front nine for both bowlers going into the 10th frame. Obviously, I just jinxed it, but... And, and by the way, the crowd is starting to show up immediately, which I sort of expected that was going to be happening. Hermes nickname, the Hermitator. 
Segura's nickname, Big Mama. Right now, Big Mama wants to be in the house. Ooh. Big Mama left the 10 pin. So we are here, by the way, Devin Dandridge, whose name that I mutilated all day yesterday, and I'm really good with mutilating names. It's one of my talents, just as good as doing good commentary, mutilating names. I'm also here with Curtis Warren, whose name I will not mutilate. Curtis Warren from the Hermie Hannibal fan club. And I got Devin Dandridge over from the Segura Wheeler fan club. What's up, what's up, says Curtis. Nothing much. <coughs> yes, Curtis is saying, and I know he's not Mike, he's expecting an excellent match. These two bullets always entertain. Yes, they do. Devin probably wants it a little bit less exciting as long as her, as long as his girlfriend wins. As Curtis said, these two always have an exciting match whenever they line up with each other. Yes. More times than not, this game will come down to the ninth and tenth frame. <coughs> and more times than not, it'll go to a game six or a game seven. I believe the last one did go game seven. Yes, the last one did go game seven. So I am expecting nothing less than that. Hear me right now is leaving a four pin. Looking to collect your spare, and she will. I have said on a number of occasions, and I'll ask this to you, Devin. I have asked Segura on a number of occasions why she does not go after the men's heavyweight title. Now, right now, I understand why she doesn't, because you're currently holding it. But let's just say there is a time in the next 20 years that you're no longer holding the title. Do you think that she could beat the guys and win the, and win the men's belt? Besides you. Yes. And I would have put her past the idea of taking the belt, trying to take the belt from me. I would pay good money to see that. She would love to take the belt from me. Oh, would she? <coughs> I, that could be a fun exhibition match over at Mega Bowl, by the way. Say, so, Zagira versus Zagira versus Devin. Or it could be just as fun to have Kermie versus Devin. Mm -hmm. Ermi with a strike in the fourth, Segura again, in order to keep pace, has got a strike as well. Ermi is impressed by the new cameraman, and Segura is probably not impressed with the 10 pin. that conversation with Jonathan Dansbury, by the way, when he held the belt. And uh, during Battle Bowl, Segura came over, looked at that belt and said, you know, that would look really pretty on, on my waist. And I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Segura makes a spare. I remember when that conversation happened. I might have walked over just as they were finishing that up. Uh-huh. And that's when I, it was actually at that time, I decided to join the heavyweight. Ah. <laughs> So you were inspired by Jonathan Dansbury. I saw Dansbury. I had been seeing the posts of him defending. Mm -hmm. And it was at Battle Bowl. I said, hold on to it. I'll see you in a couple months. Which you did. And now it's yours. It's a gear. Uh, and that looks good. And it is. Segura right now with a strike. She's got 88 in the fourth. Hermes got potential 99 in the fourth if she doubles. If she does not, one pin game advantage to Segura because she would be on a strike and Hermes would not. Fifth frame coming up here for Hermes and... So Hermes is up by one assuming she makes a spare, but again, Segura Wheeler with the advantage. Now, one of the other things that I said yesterday a lot with your match, very clean match. Yeah. You, I do not think you made, no, you made one. You made one made unforced one open, yes. Yes. But besides that, every other frame is clean. Vixens match, the Vixens traditionally, clean. Yes. Clean matches, clean frames, they fill. It's one of the reasons why I think either Sakaria or Wheeler 
Isaac Aguirre Wheeler or Hermie can hold on to that belt is because they don't make mistakes like that. They don't make the, I mean, obviously you're gonna throw splits, but they don't miss makeable spares. Yeah, both of them, you're gonna have to strike to beat them because they will make their spares. Yes. Hermie right now, leaving the nine pin. Looking to make the spare. Somebody doesn't have a great look. When you make spares, it feels like the world's <coughs> pressure is on you. Absolutely. There's been many times when I've been in WCS and, and uh, ranking matches where I found nothing, but I've grinded, 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 and eventually I'll find something, or more often than not, eventually my opponent will make a mistake. Correct. I am not the biggest strike person in the world, but I can spare for days. And that makes people tough. That does make people tough. Right now, Hermie, 108 in the fifth frame. A non-strike by Segura, and we'll be tied. A strike by Segura, which will take the lead, and open, and Hermie will have the lead. She's looking to make the lead here. Oh, that looked good to me. It is. Segura with a strike. She will take a lead as we go into the second half of game one. Yes, game one. Got into a little bit of late start, but we're rolling right now. Meanwhile, Hermie, and in the background, you can hear Hermie and Curtis discussing strategy. Oh, you've got the monitor with the chats. Are, are there have there been people chatting? Do we have any chats? Okay, hold us mommy! We got a message from Devin's mommy. And we got three in a row from Segura Wheel. Segura's now feeling it with a little fist bump. I mean, right now, looking to strike, getting some strikes on the board. That's not it. Six pins. Segura right now looks like she's found something. Yeah, she's looking like she's taking control of the game. Mm-hmm. She is. She goes out. She goes out the door. Two sixty-eight. That is a very impressive score by any account, let alone to get a wheeler. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll take the spare going into the eighth frame. Well, also picking up where she left off last match. Last time I called the Segura Willard match, she only averaged 270. So if she goes out for 268, she's actually a little bit low. She's slacking a little bit. She was a little below par for when you're commentating her match. That's right. I mean, right now, that ball looks a little bit light. Is she going to get the roll, though? That match is quite the show. What did she throw, about 26 in a row or something? <coughs> yes. She threw 26 in a row. You remember that. I don't remember if you were there. I don't think you were there, but... I was there. Oh, you were there. Okay, never mind. I take it back. You made sure I had to take the drive. Ha-ha. <laughs> You're being a good boyfriend. Drive the I believe you and Curtis uh, need to have a support group on that. The, the Vixens ball carrying support group. We'll start a group chat. Yeah, we're going to start a group chat. Curtis is nodding his head, his head up and down in agreement. Hermie right now again. Hermie hasn't made any mistakes. Nothing but strikes and nine spares. However, as I've said many times, strikes beats nine spares. And Hermie right now is on three in a row as we go into the eighth frame. The best Hermie can do right now is a 226. Segura right now looking for four in a row. And she'll get it late. Ten pin goes down, but it does go down. Right now, Segura's got a 178. As I was mentioning before, the best that Hermie can do is a 226, which in most men's matches is very good. Segura, she'll be short by around 40 pins. Yes. <coughs> Ninth frame here coming up. That ball looks good. Looking for five in a row. No, 10 pin. A little bit. No. A little, little, little bit too far inside. Looks like they're playing pretty similar to how they were last night. Mm -hmm. 
you've got a nice little puddle in the middle of the lane where it's just hard to get the sentiment out when you get there. One of the things that I saw, especially in the classic tag match and in your match a little bit, light mixer does help. Yes. The mixers work very well. This is one of those interesting things where you had to really get high flush or mix, <coughs> but anything in between, you were likely to leave a tip. Yeah, a lot of placking. It's a lot of placking last night. Yeah. So right now, Sagira with a 207. Uh, as I said before, the best that Hermie can do is a 226. So doing the math quickly. She had it? No. While well, doing the math quickly, it doesn't matter. The game's mathematically over. Because with the assumption that Sagira goes out, with the assumption that Hermie goes out the door, Sagira would not have to throw a mark. She would just need to count. In this case, it doesn't, well, technically, it sort of matters. She still needs good count. Yeah, she needs to keep it on the line. Yes. Jeremy will make this start. Go into the tenth frame. Segura up by 32. Both competitors on spares as we go into the tenth frame. Now, obviously, if you're Hermie, obviously the easy answer is don't leave corner pins. But what adjustments need to be made on Hermes' side? And I will ask that question to Curtis. Because I don't expect Devin to be giving me uh, <laughs> keys on what, her opponent, or what his opponent should be doing. Right now, no Basically, what Curtis is saying is that Hermie needs some ball motion. Yep, so Hermie needs some ball motion, Hermie needs some strikes, and Hermie's got five spares in a row, but that will not be the poor bagger. Hermie finishes with a 190. Sagira right now. Now, I'm going to Sagira. Game's already won. What do you do? You're Sagira Wheeler right now. What do you do? Just the rhythm, just throwing the same shot that I've been doing all game. Mm -hmm. Try to throw the first hit. And then after that, put it in the bag, see what other shapes you can create. And start looking towards the other shape. Yeah, so get it right now, no problem. That MV extreme is really great for us. I mean, here, here's always a question, and I suppose we know this. If you're winning and you're up, it's like, do I need to make a change now? Am I going to change too early? Do I do a ball? Did I, did I make a wrong turn? Like, sometimes the worst thing you can do is be up by a lot of pins because then you start to overthink start the situation. Yes, too much. You did what I said. You that in the first one, and now going to touch that. Mm hmm. Area check? Looked like that was the theorem, which is going to be a lot stronger off the spot. Mm -hmm. so. No, I meant area check like she's just throwing a ball and see what it throws. Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> well, theorem may be a little bit too aggressive right now. Area check with the spare ball, and she won't make that either, but it doesn't matter. At the end of game one, Sagira Wheeler 236, Hermie Hannibal 190. Sagira up one zip. Uh, no, Hermie starts. I'm just, I'm just saying that I'm ready to go. No, that, that was my way of saying, yeah, I got the scores. We're good. You know, one of the things also to notice here. Ricky and Rodney said, let's go. We have the Segura Wheeler early fan comp committee that's over here. Now. The other thing that I've noticed, look at the pacing of the speed of how fast both bowlers are going. That's pretty fast. Neither one take a whole lot of time on the approach. No. Yes, I almost sort of like, all right, we know what we're doing. There's no need to force around. Just go in and do what we need to do. And you know what I was saying before about making missable spares and that stuff? Well, oops. I think you might have gave a little bit of a kiss of death. I know. Well, I'm known as the dark cloud. That's what I do. I do that, and then I get cursed out later. I'm used to it by now by Curtis. 
I'm sure I'll hear something from him later. <laughs> Probably not during the broadcast. Now nah, I'm keeping. Curtis is a good guy. You know why I'm not bowling good? He left my balls in the car. They're cold. I'm sorry? He left my balls in the car. Oh, she left the He left the balls in your balls in the car? Oh. So it's Curtis's fault. Curtis left Hermes balls in the car. Now Hermes is healing with Curtis's cold balls. Pause, 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 pause. Segura is going up right now, not having to worry about the temperature of her bowling equipment. I will say it that way because if I say it the other way, I will get 8,000 comments over there. Gordon! Absolutely, they will eat you up in the comments. Yeah, so they always do. Today will not be any different. <laughs> Segura right now taking a quick lead as we go into frame number two of game two. The champs already got game one. Look at extend her lead out to two zip. Also looking to extend her strike lead right now to two in a row. There's a shot, that ball looks good. Does not hit the 10 pin. Again, same thing that you called, that's what happened. No, not mixed, not, high, not hard enough, not high in enough, not deep enough. 10 pin goes in. It's so hard to get the corner out. It's true. That looks like a very strong spear make, and it is. <coughs> Sierra Knight right now with a quick lead. Hermie can cut it down to two with a pair of strikes. That first shot coming off, and she got the strike. Yeah, much, much better shot. Now, can she double here? Cut the deficit down to two. That ball's high, a little bit too high. And even with the four pin, I think this ball is really much better for her. It's, it's definitely the look that she has, even though that shot was high, that look is definitely better now. <coughs> than it was in the middle of the end of game one. I think she's going to stay being that aggressive. Yeah, she wasn't happy about that. You can tell when you tell that fist movement. Ah. So Curtis did say it. He's right. That was definitely a better look. Definitely a better shot out there. I don't practice. Ooh. By, by the way, everybody that's listening, you want to practice. Practice is important. Practice is good. Practice is good. Although I'm in the same boat as Hermie. I oh, no, no, practice. no. Don't say that. <laughs> no, Northeast Heavyweight no, Champion, don't say I don't practice. I, I take a lot of visual reps. You take a lot of what? Visual reps? I call them visual reps. Visual reps. Bowling and analyze. Analyzation. Bowling analyzer. Hermie's uh, 11th commandment is thou shalt not practice. <laughs> She is a Hall of Famer. I can't really, can't really dispute that. I was like, I'm playing all the time. I don't have time to go practice. I'm in 18 leagues. Like you're in 18 leagues. 16 leagues. One. Well, you fall over the place. So you bowl in UBA stuff, you bowl in tournament stuff. You bowl, you bowl stuff that I don't realize is that you have stuff in. Yeah, I forgot she bowls in the seniors and grandmasters tournaments and stuff like that. And she's won a lot of hardware over the years. And the hardware that she wants is currently around a Segura's waist. <coughs> yeah, strike in the fourth frame. Hermie right now, still down by 10. Or half the fourth frame. Look at possibly strike. That ball is a 
Well, there's that light mix that you and I were talking about. That falls light mix, everything goes down. Get them light, stay tight. That, that's true. And, and again, we've noticed this yesterday. You want, to, you want it either all the way in or all the way out. You don't want it in that middle pocket spot. Hannibal right now, fifth frame. Again, not taking any time. Look at a double here. Put some pressure on Segura. And there's that nowhere end zone that's that we're talking ten about. Ten. And it's a 10 pin. There's that don't put the ball there result. Right? Looks like 27 might be getting a little bit tighter down lane. I was actually going to ask you that. Does it look like it's getting tight? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. No, previous two shots that he was bowling, she was bowling pretty good. The previous two shots that Hermie threw on 28, no problem. Still trying to figure out 27. Hermie, on the other hand, has figured out 27. Now she wants to figure out 28. Segura, not at that average that she was last time, but then again, who are we kidding? How are you going to try to consistently average 268, 271 in uh, most WCS matches? Oh, 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 oh! Rob, Segura was robbed on that shot. I'm not going to say what she should have gotten, but she was robbed. Somehow we find ourselves with another 10 I was going to say, right now she thinks that she's probably fortunate that she's only left another 10 pins. This is one of those, hey, I'm happy it's a 10 pin. Yeah, exactly. Yay, 10 pins. It's only good, however, if she makes a spare. Ooh. Very nice cover. Very nice cover. Even though it did look like that ball was starting to tail out there. Second half of game two coming up. Segura Wheeler up by 10 as we go into the sixth frame. Both Vixens on spares. Uh oh. That ball looks good to me. Light hit, no, seven pin. I was about to say, it looks like she was the light to hit route, but still it's a seven pin. Got a good recovery shot following the near disaster in the last spring. <laughs> that's a good way, that's a nice safe way of putting it, the near disaster. However, because of all the spares, Hermie is slowly creeping back into this one. However, Seguro makes a spare. Hermie can take off another pin off the lead with a strike. And then two strikes, she can take the lead. That is true. Very true. Hermie wants it to be her. Well, and there's a single. Now she's figured out 28. Now she's got to go back to 20. Well, she still has to figure out 27. However, the important thing is that it is only a nine pin game, which means a strike here. And you will not be happy, but Curtis will be because because Herbie will have taken the lead. Terminator here looking for a Oh, she'll get it, albeit not the way that she wanted it. If you want, I can get you a chuck bag over there so you can yak into what you just saw from Herbie Hannibal there, Devin. Uh, let me go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a bag. <laughs> yeah. Cur Curtis very quietly says, Curtis very quietly meanwhile says, yeah, Hermie almost got robbed on that shot. <laughs> De Devin's giggling quite But the important thing is this, it's now a one-pin game in Hermes' favor. 
Now it's Sagira that's got to respond. Going to Sagira's seventh frame. Did get a strike. You, you don't get judge bonus points and how pretty or ugly it is. All strikes matter. And all 10 pins matter. And unfortunately, Sagira just left another one. It's almost sort of like the roles are reversed here a little bit. Yeah. It's now Segura that's trying to find a strike, and I mean he's gotten a couple, albeit not exactly the conventional variety of getting strikes. Can we take them out of the Absolutely, as you should. Another spirit made by Segura. Leonard, good morning. We're going into the eighth frame. Hermie Hannibal's up by eight. And we're going to go see if we have all the pins, and um, apparently we don't. And we definitely didn't. I didn't see a five pin there. Re rack. Going in eighth frame. Hermie is on a double. That's why she's got an eight pin lead. Segura right now. Looking to stay relevant in this match. Trying to throw a strike. Does she do it now? There's that 10 pin again. Yeah, really. The 10 pin zone. Segura has entered the 10 pin zone. Yeah, yeah we, we got a what are we thinking, Dev? Dev's got that. I'm thinking the gears are going in the brain look. Segura with the spare. I, I have a feeling Segura's going to be going to the Segura fan club. No, not yet. It, it won't shock me if I see Devin leave this area momentarily and hang out. Going to be here looking to get three and zero in the eighth frame. Build up her lead, go to Segura Wheeler, and she'll get it. Light hit again. Working the mix. Working the mix. Mix is doing well. Hermie is in the mix, both figuratively and literally. And a mix. Ninth frame, and should Hermie throw another strike here to make it four in a row, Segura's going to be in a world of trouble in game two. Here's that shot. She's going high. She got it. Wow. Four in a row for Hermie, and that one actually looked good. I mean, all strike strikes are okay, but that one actually looked like that one was a little more convincing. Exactly, a little more convincing. Courtney oh, yeah. Curtis, she took advantage of the break, and that's what Hall of Famers do. Absolutely. <coughs> Best Hermie can do. Hermie goes out the door 238. Best that Segura can do 215. So Hermie's gonna go. I'm sorry, Segura's gonna have to go out the door, which he's not gonna do. Seven pin. I was going to say, she's going to have to go, go out the door, and Hermie's going to have to make a major mistake. But I think we're at that point in the game where Hermie does not need a mark. So like what Segura had to do in game one, what is what Hermie has to do in game two, which is keep the ball in the lane. Segura make this fair. Go to the 10th frame. Again, both competitors clean. And Devin, I'm not sure if the camera picked it up. Devin was sort of signaling to the ball, saying that's the ball you should be using. And Segura goes, okay. And we'll see if the, if the cranial thinking over there is good. Here right now for a shot in the 10th frame. That ball is, hey, there's a mix. That looks good. Now, what is the difference with that ball and when she got the strike versus the other stuff where she was leaving clock 10? So, in order to try to Atlas, still another big solid, but just a little bit of an earlier rounder chase. Mm -hmm. Just to try to get the ball started a little earlier to get those corner things out. It seems like the ball she was going before is starting to push. Gotcha. 
<coughs> Look, if Sagiri gets this one, she will force Hermes to show up and throw a nine in the tenth frame. And she will not. That's a game. Ten pin. I mean, Hermie will still need to keep the ball in the lane, but now it could be almost any numerical combination. Stay behind the foul line. Yep. Stay behind the foul line. I did fail to do one last time. Skiro makes a spare shell finish with a 194. Almost a mirror image of game one. You had 230 to 190 in game one, and now you're going to have 237 to 197 potentially game two. Terminator needs six. Terminator leaves a five pin, but that's definitely more than six. Now, what happens if a New York Hall of Famer flags a 10 pin? I asked Curtis, who's staring at me quizzically like, nothing? Curtis is very, very smart. That's exactly what happened walking back to New York. <laughs> yeah, That's show me. Proper answer. <laughs> now, Hermie. Well, Curtis and Hermie are going to chat a little bit. Meanwhile, Sagira is chatting. Part of the Sagira Wheeler fan club is chatting over there. Talking strategy. She's got the ball rep over there giving her a chat. Ah, uh, ball rep. Now, she's a ball rep. I know Ashley Porter is running around here last night. Like, sort of, kind of ball rep. But I will say this. Her, around a little bit. Her, her representative, very successful last night. Mm -hmm. Up, oh, still leads a 10 pin. At the end of game two, Herbie Hannibal, 217, Sagira Ruler, 190. We're tied at one. Yep. It's now best of five. Okay, let's hear it. My nephew, let's go Sue. Let's go Sue from the nephew. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm in. Sissy in favor of Segura. And thank you, Leonard. Oh, is that free? Yeah, Leonard free. Yeah, what do you say? Say congrats, Chad. Very good. Shout out to Leonard Freeman, by the way. Leonard Freeman, always a fun person to hang out with going down to the Southeast. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to hanging out with him again. If you go down there, I mean, I know you will be going down there. If you like seafood, Hefs. Where? Hefs, H-E-F-S. Shout out to Hefs, they're really good. We do like seafood. There you go. I'm gonna go down there. Hefs is really good. We're starting game three with... Another 10 pin. So Sagira's starting to figure it out, but not completely yet. Look, gonna make a tempin. Just started game three, we are tied one game apiece. Which again, knowing both of these bowlers, that's something that you sort of expected. You, you didn't think there was gonna be a sweep, you didn't think one bowler was gonna get too far ahead of the other one. I don't think anyone expected a sweep today. No. I, I'll just say it right now, I'll be shocked if it doesn't go seven. May yeah. as well just go right to this game seven now. The first six games are a warm up. It's like six games of practice, seventh game. Okay, we'll go now. Kermy, sure strike. There's a strike. That was probably the best strike that I've seen her throw so far during this match. Had a little, oh, she had a little knee bend. Curtis said, we got a knee bend, we're good. I see Tiny Old Tate, the UBC CEO, walking behind. Liking what he sees. Terminator liking what she's seeing the first frame. Let's see if she likes what she sees this one as well. No, she does not. Yeah, okay. yeah when well, she went back into the zone of the tempin. Yeah. <coughs> Curtis is right. She needed that ball to not hook, and hook it did. Right, right into the land of plaque. Those shots that look, that look the best seem to be the ones that can leave the foot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of it's frustrating when you're thinking, ball's in the pocket, ball's nicely in the pocket, what's that corner pin doing there? That's right. 
like a good dentist, remove the plaque. Now, Segura is a doctor, Dr. Segura Wheeler, but I don't think she's into dentistry. So we'll see if she can remove the plaque as a dentist. There's that shot, that ball looks heavy. There you go. There's a strike. So both bowlers have started strike spares, first strike. We're tied up, going to third frame. Segura again with a little bit of an advantage. She's working on a strike, Hermie's working on a spare. ball in the pocket and leave a quarter pin. Angle of entry. And that's sometimes what bowling is. Sometimes it's all about an angle of entry. Mm -hmm. Alright, so gear with the square. I mean I like the shot that they put out here this week. That seems to be challenging but fair. Yeah, very fair. Like like you said, it, it's all coming down to in, angle of entry on your pocket shot. Yeah. Very fair to get to the pocket, but if you don't have the right angle, you're never gonna carry. That is true. The only carry that you're going to be getting is Jim Carrey. Yes. <coughs> right now, that shot looks okay. A little bit light. A pin. Well, didn't leave a corner pin this time. I don't know. Have we had something that wasn't a corner pin? I think we've had one. Actually, no. At the beginning, we had a couple of four pins and some six pins. Yes. Game one seemed like it was a long time ago. Game one, a distant memory. Hermie looking to make this fair, she will. Hermie down by a pin, both competitors on spares as we go into the fourth frame. Pace has slowed down a little bit just because both bowlers are trying to figure out what they need to do. You know, at the beginning they're like, oh, we got this, we don't need it now. It's like, eh, I don't know. They do have to make shots. That's what Curtis is saying. You gotta make shots, and he's absolutely right. Hermie right now is looking to make shots. Made an adjustment there. A little bit too much of an adjustment. I'm sorry, six, seven, ten. The Hermie Nator. Looking to make the spare. Maybe now it's gonna curve out a little bit, and now it's gonna really curve out. You can't get many pins when you put the ball in the little groove channel. Yeah, Hermie's chatting with Curtis right now. Probably thinking to herself why she didn't get two extra pins on the wood. I don't know. Hermie and Curtis are still chatting. Devin right now is hanging out with the Segura Wheeler fan club. Segura in the meanwhile, trying to find her own fan club. There's a strike. Segura right now is starting to take a 17 pin lead. Could be 27 with another strike here in the fifth frame. I had to take a moment to be the supportive boyfriend. Ah, good job, supportive boyfriend. All of the Segura fan club did not get the link for this <coughs> match. And uh -oh. There were some frustrated people. Hey, I'm trying to watch. Where can I see this? Well, you, you, you help them out, right? Yeah. It's a mix. There we go. I mean, people in the Segura fan club has got to be very happy with that so far. Two in a row. The lead is now 27. The Segura has over Hermie, and it could be more depending on what Hermie does. Uh, see the chat going again. Jacob Johnson, good morning. Aha, uh -huh. chat room's open. 
Blaine Clifton. We are at Bolarama, Newcastle, Delaware. Yeah, Hermie Hannibal is back over leaving corner pins. And yes, DeAndre, the 10 pins are going crazy today. Yeah, 10 pins are premium. We almost have almost have as many 10 pins in the 10 pin tank club as we do in the Segura Wheeler tank club. Can we look at this is the match to watch. Yes. Yeah, you'll get a click and clinic on how to make the 10 pins. I'm watching for myself as well. We're gonna be making the spare. We go into the second half of game three. For those of you that have just came in, you didn't miss much. We're tied one game piece. Except that we're working through those first six games of warm up. Yeah, first game six. Game. Yeah, exactly. First six game of warm up. That's why everybody knows that they can come in late. So it's just like, yeah, it's only game three. And Segura's doing swaps. I'm sort of glad for the cameras on that <laughs> side and not the other side. Because then they would have seen an other side. Segura's <laughs> being Segura. Gears being Segura, uh-oh. Hermie not being Hermie, because Hermie usually makes those. And Curtis has got that, what was that look on his face? Hermie getting a little frustrated right now. Segura looking to add to that frustration. We, we will see if uh, the calisthenics that she was doing in the back will help her out with her bowling prowess. <laughs> calisthenics is a good word. Though, right? Yes. And clearly, no, she should not be doing that anymore. 6-9. Sorry, 4-9. Now, all of a sudden, if you're Hermie, you're kicking yourself because those 10 pins that you just gave away, you probably want back at this moment. <laughs> Hermie with the evil look. <laughs> that, that, that's the dark story. I call him as I see the mademoiselle. <coughs> Let's see if Big Mama can do a trick shot here. Looking for a trick shot from Big Mama. Oh, maybe. Oh, almost. She clipped it. She almost got the right angle on it. It looked good. It did look good. Segura up by 25 as we go into the seventh frame of game three. There's a the shot. Look at the continue where she was. There it is. So even, even though she threw a split, she bounces right back with the strike. Always very important if you make a mistake to not compound over it. We saw a little bit of la that last night, and so that turned fatal. Again, one of the things that separates the Vixens higher than most of the other competitors is the ability to do what we just saw over here. Instead of Hermie grousing at me, she takes her anger and puts it over at the lanes. That was another really nice shot that she just had. That shot definitely had a little bit of anger on it. Yeah, that's like, Gordon, you're talking trash about me? Hi, huh? here you go. Have a strike. It won't shock me if she does it again. Uh-oh, I don't like the way that ball's going now. Oh, that ball held on. Yeah, I can. Hermie with the heater. Hermie, Hermie with the heater, and oh, there's the evil eye. I got a little... Another evil life of Hermie. Okay, it's like the high hard hard one. <laughs> Hermie did too. Hermie right now. Yeah, there we go. There's another look. <laughs> Hermie right now can go out the door for 211. If that is what happens, Segura's got to find a double somewhere along the way. This game is definitely not over. A frame coming up. Can Segura respond with the strike on her end? No, she cannot. Two. No, I'm sorry, not two. Three, six. Now let's send Newton quick math here. If Segura goes out, right now it's a four-pin game. 216 to 211. Which also means that if Segura throws any more non-strikes, Hermie can take the lead back. 
or if she misses a spare, which she will not do. We're right into the eighth frame. It is now a five pin game. <coughs> a strike from Segura here in the ninth frame. She cannot be shut out. She's got Destiny over on her hand. Anything that is not a strike, and Hermie can go out in the ninth and tenth and then take a two games to one lead. Again, you expect nothing less from both competitors. You knew this was going to go back and forth. To get right now, looking for do a little touch up on the equipment. Like we got to take time out. Time out. Take time. Oh, yeah. any new messages? Let's see. How's the chat looking? Uh, not much. Tiffany Bell popped in. Let's go, sissy. All right. It's nice to have a shout out with all these people that are, that are chatting, that are coming in. Okay, so you're right now, big shot coming up in the frame. You got to strike, that is big. Again, she cannot get shut out. And she's got fate in her own hands. Segura chatting with the fan club. Fan club not filled with that last shot. Segura likes the results anyway. Oh, that was a I know. I know. Your, your fan club wants more. Your fan club wants perfection. Your fan club wants that buried strike, which is what Herbie just did as we go into the 10th frame. Still a five pin game. Segura still up by five. It does not matter what Hermie does, Segura cannot get locked out. However, she could force Segura to throw two. And count. Hermie, by the way, has got three in her own in her own right. And she's looking for four. Strike here for her would be huge. No. Ten pin. Now, what was the difference between that shot and the other one, Seven? That shot was a the little strike. bit in. This is right in that... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so she wanted board 20, she got board 17, and she got a 10 pin. Hermie will make the spare. Oh, okay, hold on, it's after game two. You just needs to match. High game handicap, yep. Tariq Johnson, 286, Tyler Barty, 275, <coughs> cap eliminated cut, 236. Scratch size, scratch eliminator, two, two, four. High game, we have a tie. Alex Vargas, two, seven, nine. Keith Quinn, two, seven, nine. Coming in right now, looking for a good fill. Well, she's gonna do that, do that now, 188. Uh, Matt says she's got a match, as you said, or five pins less, but Segura still needs a one. Curtis is now taking over the role of Gordon, saying, "If you made the ten pin, would have been one ninety-eight. That would have that would have forced Segura to get the first one." And this, yeah, well, she doesn't want to do what she did in the sixth frame. It's for game three. Striker gives it to her. There it is. Segura will take game three. And once again, a well-played game. She did, she did. That was a very classic Dick Weber strike. And now we're looking for the Segura Wheeler strike, which we won't get. We'll get the Plaque 710 City. And just when we stop thinking about the game. Yeah. We're not. Right, yeah, what's going on there? Sort of Curtis is like, we're not used to seeing these sort of scores, and, and he's right, we're not. At the end of game three, Segura 205, Hermie 188, Segura is up two games to one. 
one of the things that I will say, this has been a fun match so far. There's a couple of very good games going up. Curtis has said, that this one's got his drama and tension. He's absolutely right. Hermie shall start game four. Segura will stick her tongue out at everybody. And meanwhile, figuring out, oh. Segura, Segura is looking to try to figure out what, what does he have to do here. What does he have to do? Hermie Hannibal starts game four with uh, another tempo. And, and it's definitely not the bullets. It, it's the it's the oil and it's the lens right now that's leaving all the corners. I don't know if it's Shaw Show or Shea Show. But we got, come on, Harry, pop out of here. Ah, uh, we we got a uh, that could be Ken Shaw. We we're, we're reading the email. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fall overboard. To be fair, that Miss Tempin didn't really cost her that last game because she lost by more than 10 pins. That being said, you don't want to be doing that and giving giving Sagira a sense of ease. The last thing you want to do is to make a bowler comfortable because that means they'll throw the ball better. You want to try to put some pressure on him. The last thing you want to do is give Sagira more opportunities. No, you do not. And I don't care who you are, you, that's the one thing you don't want to do is to make Sagira feel comfortable. She is very good at putting her foot on your throat. I've seen it in person. Yes, she is. That ball is buried. Is that a half squat we just saw? And, and all of a sudden, we're, we're hearing the Sagira really crowd starting to show up and uh, showing their applause of approval. Going to second frame. For all of those that just joined, this is game four. Frame two, Sagira Wheeler, your champ, is currently defending rather well. She's up two to one. And she's, yeah, that, that one's too light on the mix. Yep. Is that tea? Duncan does tea. They do tea. Oh, ooh, green tea. I like green tea. Green tea from Duncan? Yeah, we do. Good choice. It is a good choice. Keeping with the Dunkin' Donuts theme, Segura left a bucket of munchkins up there and she only got two of them. <laughs> because if there's nothing better than Dunkin' Donuts green tea, it's munchkins. I'm not gonna argue that. A munch munchkins are good. As much as I do love a nice little strawberry frosting. <coughs> yes, strawberry frosting. What the filling? Hermie looking to, uh oh, no, all right, out of trouble. Yeah, split is broken up. I was about to say she's about to make up for her missed 10 pin in the first frame. She does have a chance to convert the 7 pin in the second frame. Hermie right now looking to make this fair. She will. And Hermie will take a quick lead going into the third frame. As long as she does not leave her own box of munchkins up there in the lane. It's been real tight and both bowlers have, have gone too late on there, leaving interesting mix on the, on the left hand side. No issue there, Army with a strike. <coughs> yeah? <coughs> Curtis. Yeah, Curtis is saying, and again, he's not Mike, so I'll explain it. Curtis has said that that is the first time that he's seen the ball turn over for either competitor. On lane 27. And Hermie, once again, is giving me that look. Maybe they are finally wearing it out. Okay, now, now Hermie's staring at Curtis. I don't feel so bad now. Here right now, third frame looking for her to bounce back. She does. Big Mom right now with the strike. And a couple of nasty stares over to her fan club as we go to the fourth frame. <laughs> a 
I think you're I get that stare too often. I was, I I was going to say, how often do you get that stare? Every day. Because I've seen that stare, and I've also seen the stare with the, with the uh, tongue sticking out. Hmm. He's done that a couple of times. Have you gotten that one with the, with the tongue out there? That's normally a more happy one. Yeah, usually a more happy one. Ooh. She's going to give a stare for another reason. There's another corner pen. Meanwhile, they're laughing at Tagira, whose, whose facial expressions right now are priceless. We're going to make a spare here, and she will. We like spares. Spares beats open. Spares? We've got a chair flip. <laughs> Uh-oh. I have an angry chair flip. So chair down. down. Have this thing. When frustrated, we don't hit a ball return or anything like that. We politely just turn a chair over. Mm -hmm. Leave it down. Leave it down. Nice, nice non-aggressive way of releasing some anger. Yes, just, just flip the chair. Politely turn the chair over. Yes. At least it was polite. You're absolutely right. It was a polite chair turn. Herbie right now with a not so polite double. As she's now taking the lead, she's up by by at least 13. Could be 23 here with another strike and three in a row. That ball looks a little light, but that's what's been hitting, but not this time. Four. Lucky mix. She'll make that. So right, right now, I'd like to have the, I'd like to show the camera guy something. I'm gonna ask, the, I'm gonna ask the camera guy to come over here for a second. This is a politely overturned chair. Over here, watch this. Now, this was done by Sagira, because she was frustrated, but she politely overturned the chair. Yes, lightly. So, now, just for an experiment, before we see the shot here, which, by the way, you're not gonna wanna look at that anyway, don't turn around. Nobody in Sagira's fan club is gonna wanna see what she just did. Don't turn that camera around. We're gonna politely put the chair back up, because I have a feeling that this chair may come back into use again very shortly when she misses the spin, when she makes the open that she is by leaving the four, five, seven. Okay, now we're gonna turn around and we're gonna see that she's going to almost make the spare. <coughs> so Segura looking to get more stuff going on. Hey, we got Ducky in the building. Uh, we got a Ducky in the building. We do not have Baby Huey. Right now we have Big Mama, and Big Mama is a little bit frustrated right now with 72 in the fifth frame as we go to the second half of game four. The one good thing is that she's up two to one, so she can afford to take a loss here. That being said... I don't think anyone can ever really afford to take a loss to Hermie. Nope. That is true, too. <coughs> so, I have put this chair up right in case you're frustrated and you want to politely tip it over again. And, yeah, here we go. <laughs> And she takes it personal if you put our chair back up. I do not wish to put I do not wish to take it personal. I was just trying to help her. Oh my goodness. Horrible break for Hermie. That was a Don Julio had to go down. So I'm gonna try to explain everything because the cameraman was shooting over here. And I'm gonna try to explain what we ha what we have over here. We, we have... The ball driller. Oh, we're blaming the ball driller. If I fall bad, I'm always blaming the ball driller. He knows it. All right, so I want to put this out here. You're officially blaming the ball driller. Oh, always. He know it. 
Yes. Giannis Poo Taylor, world class pro shot. If I bowl great, he did a great job. I bowl bad, man. Drill him, re drill everything. <laughs> Take it back. And, and we get an overturn table. Uh, overturn chair. We haven't done the table yet. No, no. We only, we only aggressively, unaggressively place chairs on the floor, and that is a temper tantrum. You didn't break anything. From now on. Literally, I'm trying to get it to catch on so you won't have people hitting stuff. They can just aggressively, unaggressively place this chair on the floor, and we call it chair fitness. There was one time, y'all missed it, I put half, uh, 51 to, to 60. <laughs> and it's bowling now, it's great. 10 frames worth of overturned chairs. Okay then. So Hermie has gotten an open, an 810. And, and by the way, the other part of that story that we didn't mention was uh, Segura did her Jane Fonda style calisthenic workout right before Hermie threw the shot and then she promptly left the 810, which leads me to think that Ducky may be using that as his new tribal non-strike rain dance eventually the next time that he's bowling. <laughs> and we got a strike. A double for Segura, and all of a sudden we've got ourselves a game again. Going to the eighth frame, Segura was sort of taking a siesta with the 72 in the fifth frame. However, Hermie opened up, and all of a sudden, a strike from Segura, and she's up by seven pins in the eighth frame. Is that ball looking for three in a row? No. And we got another bunch of munchkins. It's no longer a bucket of chicken, it's a box of munchkins because we are being sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. Or at least all of our coffees are, so. I may use that from now on. You heard it here first. Now is she gonna clean up the box? No, oh no, two more munchkins up there. All right, now let's see the camera here. Camera. I wanna see, now is Segura going to aggressively overturn that chair? Yes, she is. That, that is a sign of disgust. And what's gonna make it even more disgusting for Segura is that Hermie just got a strike. She has the lead going into the ninth frame. She's up by at least 19. If it turns into 29 with a strike in the ninth frame, that's going to be a huge mountain for Segura to try to get over. Ninth frame here, big strike potential. She did not get it, 10 pin. She definitely had a chance at it. She'll make the spare. Now, if Hermie goes out the door, it is a 195. The best that Sagira can do is a 184. So if Sagira goes out the door, Hermie needs a mark. And not just a mark, the mark's gotta be with good count. Hermie's working on the split. Correct. See, we've got all sorts of people hanging out here. I can't wait to say hi to Kelsey momentarily at the end of this game. Hello. We're watching the end of game four. Segura right now up two to one, looking to make it three to one. However, she is trailing in this game. And a strike from Hermie in the first ball in the 10th frame will be not a two games apiece. By the way, congratulations on your newly found title. Thank you, thank you. I just want to throw it out there that Team L1 is collecting WCS belts. Uh huh. <laughs> Myself, Kelsey, and Segura. Team what? Team L1. Oh, Team L1. Ah, uh, female strike. <coughs> we, we got introduced to your travel partners. Uh, interesting calisthenics workout. Which one? Segura was squat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She did. Well, it wasn't just the Segura squat. It's one thing just to have a squad, it's another thing for all the camaraderie with everybody else to be going along with the cigarette squad. Ah, two in a row. Big hit. That is. That, 
Yeah, what, what that hit means is that in order for Permi to win this game, that first ball's got to be a strike, assuming that she fills. Yes. Strike here is huge. Big count here in the fill. Got it. Now Segura figures it out. The question is, is it too late this game? So here's the deal. Strike. For me, it's a strike in order to win this right now. A nine spare strike is a tie. We go to a two frame roll off. If she does not throw at least a nine on this first shot, Segura wins this game. Here's the first shot right here. And that's game. Segura's going to win. It doesn't even matter if she makes a pair. She's going to lose by pin. You're applied to pressure. Wow. Yeah, it is. I would not have expected that happening from Hermie. No. Wow. Especially on that lane. We haven't seen many shots so light from Hermie over there. No. I mean, if you, if you look, well, she did have, she did leave the A-10 up there. So that may have been an adjustment and too much of one. At the end of game four, Segura 184, Hermie 171. Segura is up three games to one. Going to game five, there are three games left in this match. Hermie needs to win all of them or she guarantees the title. Yes. Margin of error is zero, a.k.a. El Chico. And to Garrett starts. I, I think you start this game, then, Mizzet. Right. Thank you. Garrett's looking good right now with that latest ball change. Other than the box of munchkins, that one shot. Two but She's got two box of munchkins. Oh, this is interesting. Just since she made this last ball change. Yes. Ball change. She threw the ball. She put down that other ball after the first. <coughs> after the first See, that, that's, that's, that's so cool, doesn't it? We are no longer calling it the bucket. It is the mu it is a box it's of munchkins. It's a box of munchkins. We're here in the land of Dunkin' Donuts. It's got to be bucket. And that is a very nice strike. So we Sierra as we strike game five. All right, and the chair is now back straight up. The chair is standing back up. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I, I, maybe we need to get Hermie her own chair so that she can topple it over. Because she didn't deserve what she got in the 10th frame, and she definitely didn't deserve this. Something therapeutic about yeah. turning a chair over. What? There's something therapeutic about uh, turning a chair is. over. I like that. It's great therapy. Is she going to make the spare? No. Kirby right now trailing in an early hole. And again, as we mentioned, this is game five. This is a game she's got to win. If she doesn't win this one, the titles stay in the house of titles. And then nobody gets to walk home. You can both drive back in the safety and comfort of whoever's vehicle got you over here. Curtis, on the other hand, may be walking home. Kirby with the strike. Pretty sure one thought going through Segura's head right now is I'm hungry. She was already talking about what to eat after the match before we came in. Well, my guess is either pork buns or steak. Pork buns are really good. I like pork buns. I'm leaning in favor of the pork buns. Oh, wait, wait. Oh! Check it out. <coughs> what, what is that, the butt messenger? Is that what we're calling that one? The squat messenger? Squat messenger? Squat messenger. Yeah. Segura. Chad is on fire with Segura's support right now. I can tell. Let's go have See what we got over here. Way to finish strong. Finish her, Segura. Let's go, Segura. <coughs> Come on, Segura. You're doing your best Mortal Kombat imitation? Mortal. Finish her. <laughs> yeah, we got a, we got a whole bunch of wows. Wow, indeed. Poke it out and kick it out. I don't know, I like that one. Poke it out and kick it out for the messenger. Yeah, 
I was about to say she's nine frames away from uh, from port funds, except she left a seven pin. So, not that thinking about port funds level yet. So you're make the spare. And the chair goes back over. It was a hadouki, but it's not A hadouki. Uh, that that was a nice strike. Two in a row for Herbie as she starts to close the gap. <coughs> Another strike here, and again, it's one can get. Games are tight. They've all been tight. Game five for four games, even though it's three one. They usually could have gone three one the other direction. Yeah, Her Hermie is still grousing about you know, what happened last game. I can't blame her. That was not a terrible shot that she, shoot, that she threw. She did not deserve that. Three in a row for Hermie. Now Segura needs to respond. I, I don't think that chair is going to be coming back up for a while. No, that, that, that chair is going to stay down. Because I don't know what that was. Maybe we should get another chair for it. You know what chair? Let's see. This chair is not really in use right now. So I'm going to take this one. Yeah, that one. I'm just going to take this chair over here. And I'm just going to move it over. going to give Sigura a target to go after on the chair. Here, so we're going to over here. And a nice, another chair for her to knock over. Right there. Oh, no, no, we don't want the jacket on the floor. All right, so put the jacket over here. There we go. Good like that. Find me one second. I may need to protect my jacket. You're right now, fifth frame coming up, game five. All right, let's do pins, not a bucket or a box. You got half of it out. You got half. That was, uh, now keep in mind, Sagira had a 72 in the fifth frame last game and came back to win that game. She did. So, game far from over. I, hold on, I've given you another chair to knock over if you wish that you feel like doing that. Oh no, she's just gonna sit in that one. Meanwhile, Hermie, no problems, four in a row for her. And I think part of that is her frustration with this should be 2-2 two -two and not 3-1, and I'm annoyed, and all the pins are gonna feel my breath. <laughs> That's what I think she's thinking right now. I think you're accurate. Uh, possible. Probable. Yeah. yeah, that's what she's thinking. Curtis said she's thinking she never she should have put that ball down. down. Five in a row for Hermie. Right there, so very, very quick fifth and six. To get her right now, is chatting with her fan club and trying to figure out what she needs to do. Yeah, Cur Curtis is talking about how everybody's going through their bowling equipment, where sometimes it's not the bowling equipment, sometimes it's just the arm, and you just need to make a couple of minor tweaks here or there. I get it. 
So Segura right now, second half of game five. If she wins this, it is over. Game set match. She can go have dinner. She can go get ready to go for Mega Bowl next month for a North versus South match. However, she is trailing. And trailing by around 30 pence at this point as we go into the sixth frame. She's a little bit too high. Danny, the count is 3 1. Here. Okay, looking to make this fair, she will. <coughs> Going to seventh frame. Now, what is she doing is the question. Is she looking, looking for, for another nugget? She's looking for a ball change? Looks like it. Hey, if you have the equipment, I know sometimes some people are made fun of by using all their equipment, but if you have the equipment in your brain, you get to use it. That's why you brought it. Right? Doesn't help anybody sitting in the car. Helps your opponent if you're sitting in the car. It does. Especially if it's cold. <laughs> Absolutely, as we heard in game one. Yes. <laughs> Still trying to figure something out. Hasn't done it yet, 610. I mean, I look at it this way, and, and I know because you told me earlier, no, Gordon, wrong way to look at it. Bad, Gordon, bad, bad. But if you're up 3-1, you can afford to lose a game. You can afford to be like, okay, fine, she got me. Let's go to the next game. Let's sort of mentally get, that, get this out of your system. I know sometimes you say no, no, no. But, you know, sometimes like this, if you are just getting dusted, at this point then in you this just game, gotta go. Uh, you got the full frame to just <coughs> run through the bag and see what go, you can do. Go through everything. Go through the whole. It's just sort of like you know the Heidi Klum fashion show. It's the Heidi Klum bowling ball fashion show. Parade out all the balls. Put all the balls down the runway. And that's a very, 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 uh, shall we say something that I traditionally don't see from Segura, which is an unforced error. Oh, she wasn't shooting for the spare. That was another yeah. that was an area check. Yeah, that was an area check. I don't care about the spare. Yeah. She has conceded this game to her. Yeah. Yeah, well, as, as I said, and this, is, this is about, yeah, I got four frames. Let's figure out what we're doing. Like the carry's not where I want it. Yeah, we got some more equipment. Let's just throw them all. Figure it out. Like. Okay, fine. It's 3 2, but I'll be up 3 2. Right. I still have a game that I can afford to lose, even though I really don't want to. You never want to lose a game, but. Oh, no, you know. She's just like trying to pick a one ball for one game. I'm sorry? Yes. And, and both. And, yeah. Well, what Curtis says that he's right, you know, both competitors right now are, are shooting under 200 and averaging under 200. Hermie should be over 200 this game. Mm -hmm. But now it's just a matter of figuring out what it is. Hermie, I believe, has figured it out. I believe that is a safe bet. No, I agree with Curtis on that. Curtis said, Curtis said he's absolutely right. A 180 is not going to be a winning score from now on, and, and he's absolutely right. It won't be. Especially if Hermes figured it out, because Hermes goes out as a 257. And especially if Sirigira does figure it out, and it's only a matter of time until she does. Eighth frame coming up. Now, the interesting thing that I see over here in the chat room, if we're chatting, and they're talking about ball change, and I wonder if anybody has any suggestions for Sigira in terms of what to use. In terms of that, now in terms of Hermie, I'm not sure there's any uh, suggestions that need to be made because she's behind in. But you know what? If there's anybody that has suggestions for Hermie also, sure. Let's hear it. We don't see much chatter about what they should throw or what anyone thinks they should throw. Strike in the eighth frame, going to the ninth. Now, Segura can, believe it or not, despite all the. Yep. Now, this is the ball we've seen her average 268 with. Yes, it is. And, and again, she can go out the door for a 210. 
so it's not like she's slouching here, but Herbie has been on this game. Sorry? Yes. Always does. Even, even though I think in this case it's going to be, uh, let's just say Hermie put up way too much of a lead for she to get back on her, and that strike's just going to put the icing on the cake this game. My math is correct here. Five will do it. I don't think Hermie's going to let another incident like last game happen. Well, she can even have an incident like last game happen. There'll still be more than enough pins. She only needs five. She's got eight. Well, in this case, she's got all of them. So we shall see game six. Game six. Let's go. <coughs> we did say we expect seven games. We did. If anybody's never watched these two bowl each other, game seven is normally a lot of strikes. Yes. And game seven is also usually a norm, which means I'm not going to predict, but it will not shock me if Hermie wins game six, because we'll get to a game seven. And it's got nothing to do with what I think about Hermie. It's got to do with, I expect game seven. So for game seven to happen, Hermie needs to win. So I'm predicting she will. For the sake of the chairs, I'm hoping we can get this over in six. What? For the sake of the chairs. Yes. For the sake of, well, we let's put it, it this way. Curtis would love to see game seven. You would not. Curtis you would, would prefer like to, to see, see more chairs flip. Yes. Curtis wants to see more flip chairs. Seven would like to have a pork bun roll in around 40 minutes. Me, just because I'm infinitely jealous and greedy and I want as much bowling commentary as I can, love game seven. It's got no offense to anybody. I do not root against anybody, but I love me some game seven. <coughs> Segura! Yeah, well, you know, when you're so focused, it's like, well, I don't, I don't know where I'm going. That's two. Looks like we are in for some fireworks. Looks, looks like fireworks on game six. Looks like both bowlers know where to put the ball. <coughs> First time of day, both look good at the same time. Yes. It is the first time today that they both look good at the same time. And at the end of game five, Hermie Hannibal, 245, Segura Wheeler, 209. Segura is still up, but it's now three to two. And Hermie shall start us off game six. And the chair is still overturned. Hermie starts with the strike. Yeah, I think this one's going to go back to the fast pace that we saw in games one and game two. Game yeah. three and game four, eh, okay. Maybe game five, eh, all right. But somebody found it. Now it looks like both people found it, and here comes the pacing. We had a lot of ball changes and thought processes going on in those middle games. Yes. That's what it is, though. Yes, first shop is open. All right, out of trouble, three six ten. Even though I shouldn't say that, that is the one. That is the one pin combination on on not many blemishes that you had last night, and that was a minor one because it didn't lose any games. But that's the only one. Funny thing when I missed that, I don't know why. I could have sworn I heard a child running up behind me. Child. I don't know why or where it came from. Ghost child. That was 30 seconds of the night that I just completely lost focus. No, well, well, well the, the ironic thing is just, 
Dusty was making duck calls and doing all sorts of goofy stuff behind you during the course of the match. That was not one of those times. That time he left you alone. You telling me that? I had no clue he was doing it. I what? Enough. I heard none of it. You were in the zone. Well, you shot great. You, you shot great the whole night last night. You were in the zone. Although, I will give a shout out to Ducky. His playlist that he was playing had me feeling good. It had some really good music on it. It was much better than what they were playing over here at Bullerama. No offense to Bullerama, but it was much better. Yeah. Figure it looks like she'll make this fair, she will. So Figueroa right now with a pair of spares. Hermine can once again take a quick lead here. Curtis wants it to push, it does not. Four pin. Again, this is game six for everybody that just tuned in. That's right. Curtis is talking about Hermine taking off some stuff here. Uh, this is game six. If Hermie wins this, we have a game seven. If Segura wins this, then it is game set match. She is off to Mega Bowl. Yes, Andre, no chairs were hurt during the filming of this match. Not yet. Up to this point. Up to this point. I haven't heard a chainsaw yet. It could come. <laughs> and we had a ball right now. Looking to get back on the strike train. He does not. Simpin. That, that was an intriguing spare opportunity there. She does convert. I thought that was gone. Oh, you weren't the only one. With my finger like... Hermie thought that one was gone. I immediately said, uh-oh. <laughs> Curtis is not looking happy. Ball stayed on. I think Curtis might have looked away. <laughs> Nobody in the building was confident that tip was going to be better. Yes. Here right now, looking to get her first strike of game six. And she gets it, Tempin goes down. We got us a tie game. We do. Advantage Wheeler because she's on the strike. Um, Dwayne, they're playing the way, I don't know if you've been here at Bowling Ramos, but they're playing how they've been playing all week. Yep. It's a false sense of drive. You can get it to hook, but there's still that puddle that the ball just doesn't want to come uphill. You're looking to double up, and she does not. <laughs> Looks like she'll make that spare. She will. A little bit more convincing than Hermes' uh, attempt at attempt, but they both went down. Speaking of the aforementioned Miss Hannibal, she is up now in the fourth frame. We are tied. Again, this is a game that Hermes got to win. If she does not, then Segura retains, and you're all off the line. That ball looks nice. There's a strike. Still tied. Going fifth frame. Now advantage Hermie. She's the one working on a strike. Segura is not. Hermie, that ball looks good for a double, and it is. First double in game six, and that goes to the challenger.
Who's up? I'm good. Okay, who's up in this match? Um, Champ is up 3 1. Great shot. Well, that, that is a strike that Sabira desperately needs, and now she needs a double key pace. As she doesn't throw one, we've seen how lined in Hermie was in game five. Yes. And it almost looked like she needs just a little adjustment in this game. It's a big shot for Sagira here. Sixth frame, game six. That's needs to keep there. strike here to keep pace, and that is not it. 3-6-10. Definitely didn't think that was good. So Hermie will maintain the lead regardless of what Segura does, even if she makes a spare. More importantly, Hermie on a double, two more, two more strikes, and it's looking closer and closer to game seven. Game. Handicap, Rob Calvary, 279 to rejoin the 269. Eliminator cut, 239. Scratch. Eliminator, right, 236. Like we got our video feedback. High game, Eddie Torres. The good news is we got the video Odell feedback. Jones, the bad news is zero. it's probably not what Segura wanted to see on that video feed coming back with her. Young 7-9.
Tory Holmes and Mal Way at 534. Tory Holmes and Nick Montal at 533. And for third place, we have a three-way tie. For third place at 512, we got Tory Holmes with Chris Aponte, Rob Calabrese, and Keith Quinn. On the female side, Going into the next frame, Corey the Holmes. best that can do is 205. Hermie already has a 209. So we got a game Max, seven. Olivia, Olivia there, 297. Scratch, Amanda Bro, Another Hermie Segura game seven. Which is the prize nobody. And as far as for the scratch, love them. We got Mal Williams and Tiffany Smalls, 537. And then for second place, we got a tie at Try. 530. Mal and Marilyn and Daquan, Kyle and Tiffany Smalls at 530. No, she has not. No. We heard his voice brings up a really good point. Segura has not fell on that ball that's going to report, have ever do repeat shots like what Hermie did. Hermie goes out the door. Hermie can go out to the door for 269. Ooh, Hermie? Well, it may be a very nice birthday present, please, a four pin. She'll make it at the end of game six. Harry Hannibal, 258. Segura Willer, 184. You're right, 180 is not going to win any games. And we go to game seven. And now the margin of error for both bowlers is zero. Got one game, winner take all. And with this case, it's the Northeast Fixing title and a trip to Mega Bowl for a little bit of North versus South money. So, as I said earlier, and I'll just say it again. Six games of warm-up. Six games of practice of warm-up. Here's game seven. We Let's go. One game for one all game. of us. Yeah, you only need to win one game now. Curtis is sneering at me. I love it. And away we go. See, we gave you guys three and a half hours to like show up for the one time that it really matters, which is this game. Now we've got the good chat room going. And here we go, Segura Lillo will start game one with a strike. By the way, I completely agree with Devin. We're going to see nothing but strikes. And an overturned chair, which is still overturned. The chair is still on the floor. The chair is still on the floor. Not liking the odds of getting picked up either. No. I am not either. Here comes Jeremy Hannibal, and there goes all the pins. Yeah, here we go. You know what you said in Game 7? You said we're going to see a lot of strikes Game 7. I did. Both of these competitors throw a lot of strikes when they're back <coughs> against the wall. Yes. And also, when they both smell blood, they, they both go in for the kill. Hannibal right now, second frame. That ball looks good. Is it turn? Yes, it does. Two for Hermie. Coming up here, that ball looks oh, good trip. A little bit of a trip, but definitely heavy. That ball went where that ball needs to go in order to get a strike. Either very high or very light. In this case, it's high. Everything goes down. Hey, okay, looks good up there. We're tied. Two strikes apiece going into third frame. No, this match today does not need any pickle juice or mustard, man. Aggressive. Here, third frame. She didn't like that one. There's a reason. 
Well, she, she was stomping, and I haven't seen her stomp when she liked anything. Yeah, she put that right foot down. Bonk, 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 bonk. I, that, that look from Devin means that he knows exactly what I'm talking about. She wanted that ball to do something that it didn't do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, she wanted the ball to hold, it didn't. Good shot. Could have gone. <coughs> Remy Hannibal has a chance to take the lead now. If that ball's good, it is buried. Three in a row for Hermie Hannibal. Yeah, that, that ball, that, that ball definitely created. We go into the fourth frame. Hermie Hannibal now up by 11, looking to make it more. Yeah. Yep, they're not finding that ball and using it in this situation. Yeah, that's a good area ball right there. Push, no, 8-10. And Curtis will say something that I'm glad that he's not mic'd on. <laughs> there was a few of those last night as well. Yes, sort of sounds like duck. Yeah, very similar to duck. Big shot for Wheeler. Hey, I'm sure this is gonna surprise you. We're tied. Nah, it probably doesn't surprise anybody. Going, going the fifth frame. Fifth frame of game seven. We will legitimately be tied, tied if Segura throws another strike here. Oh, there was some extra oomph on that one. Oh, no help needed. That one was buried. The second she threw that ball, and I'm gonna say something here. And maybe Devin's gonna agree with me or not. That ball, she just launched it. Yes. Like the first couple, all right, dainty technical stuff. That one was power and emotion. And if I don't get the strike, all the turns are being overturned. If she left another nine ten, she might have turned the table over. The, yeah. Well, I don't know. Gently turn the table. Yes, always gently. Oh, always gently. But we have a not gentle ten up there for Hermie Hannibal. And with that, Segura will take the will take the lead for the first time this game. I mean, right now, looking to make this fair, she will. And after that one game of sketchy spare shooting, they're back on to what we expect from them. Yes, nice clean game. <laughs> yeah, I, I, after the beginning of, of in the woods of Bart Simpson, what the heck was that? Six frame, game seven coming up. Five frames will determine who the new, new or old Northeast Fixes champion is going to be. And that ball looks good, it is. Harry Hannibal with another strike. She's not going anywhere. Gear Wheeler right now up by 11 as we go into her half of the sixth frame. By the way, if both bowlers go out the door. It's Aguirre 279, Hermie 268 which is exactly what you would expect out of a game seven in a Vixens match. A lot of strikes. Segura, that ball looks good, a little bit light, 10. I like the ball checking up, but then it didn't completely finish. It sort of went But that, that ball was, I thought, exactly where she needed to put it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Land of the Black 10 pin is still very much around. It's opened up enough for them to throw a couple more strikes, but. Looking to make the 10 pin here, she will. 10 pin's not going to let anybody get comfortable today.
We are tied. Hermie with the advantage because she's on the strike over the sparrow. But from a scoring standpoint, we're tied. Tied up, four frames to go. That ball looks good. Ooh, a little high. Ooh, four six. That one, it overcompensated. That ball just skidded right in there. Yeah. Talk to me about it, Devin. So she still got to give it a little bit of room just to make sure it gets down lane. Mm -hmm. But that shot was just way too direct off of her hand and just ran early. A huge opportunity for Hermie to pull away in game seven, right here, seventh frame. Here's the shot. Is she going to be able to capitalize on it? No, for him. All things considered, that is very minimal damage. Because two more strikes from her in the seventh and eighth frame, and it's game over. Mm -hmm. This keeps the match very much alive for Segura. Very much so. Worst case scenario for Segura, Hermie makes this 14 pin game. Hermie will make it, 14 pin game. A frame coming up. If Segura wants to hold on to her title, she's got to figure out how to outscore Hermie by at least 14 pins. Shot here, eighth frame. Where's that ball going? It's going high, four pins. Got away with that one. Oh, she sure did. She almost did what Sagira did with the four six. Just a four pin, no harm done for her. Not yet. Still gonna make it. Yeah. If Hermie goes out the door, it is a 237. If Segura goes out, it's 234. So I got ourselves a three pin game. Wheelie here, frame, oh, ball started. <coughs> here comes the Segura Wheeler fan club. Ninth frame coming up. This is a huge, huge shot for Wheeler coming up. She can double here. She's going to force Hermie somewhere around the line to throw a double. Sure does. Excellent shot. Great shot. Double. Now here's what that means. Hermie can shut Sagira out. However, and a big however, in order for her to do that, she must strike on the ninth, and she's got to get at least the first one in the tenth. Actually, no, she's got to get two in the tenth. Three pin game right now. Three. Yep. That's one. Well, that's the one in the ninth. Now she needs two in the tenth. Mm -hmm. Magic number two and eight. Game seven, 10th frame, what else? Wait, you would expect anything else from these two. That it goes down to the 10th frame in game seven, and oh, by the way, you need two strikes. Everything we expected. Yep. First shot here. Looking for the strike. There it is, that's one. That was a big break for him. Huge. However, in order to lock out Segura, she needs the second one. And eight. And before you say, well, eight's a gimme, we've all seen weird things. Eight is not always a gimme. Eight is not. Eight is certainly not a gimme.
Second ball here. Will she get the strike? She got it. And there goes Curtis Warren. Again, not, I understand these celebrations. I probably would have held off for one more ball. That was an excellent shot. But this is the one that will give her the title. Eight. This is game, set, match, title. And it is a seven count. Seven. That is not an eight. That is a seven. And so here's what this means. If Segura gets them all, it is a tie, and we have a two-frame roll-off in game seven. That is why I said, I did not, not don't put the hug there. Why you put the hug there? It is his fault. Why did I just say it's not a gimme? Did I not say this? Did I not call this? You said eight is not a gimme. And let's put it this way. If she hits the first two strikes and you go out and hug her, she will kill you. So you will eat two, the I'm chair. In my seat. First shot here. It's got to have it. That's one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a match we have. <coughs> but then again, you, you, would you expect anything different? Exactly Another UBA what classic. Expected. Second shot here, obviously you gotta have them all. Oh, that's you. Don't, don't go hug her. Do not go hug her. Do not go hug her. Just stay right there in that chair. Do not go out and hug her. Third shot, got to have them all. Uh, no. And Hermie Hannibal is going to win this in seven in a UBA Classic. And this is an insta. At the end of game seven, Hermie Hannibal, 234. Segura Wheeler, 233. By a count of four to three, Hermie Hannibal is your new Northeast Vixens champion. Wow. <laughs> wow. We, you and I got to have a little chasky over here. I knew this was going to be classic. Now you are going to get an interview. I knew this was going to be classic. I didn't realize it was going to be that. Expl explain this one. I, I'll, I'll say it this way. If you lost, I think Curtis is walking home. Would that be legitimate? Yeah, Curtis is definitely walking home. So let me, let me make sure that you can hear everybody here. Because I'm not sure if you can, so let me. Magic of live streaming. You know. First of all, I, I will I will wait for our camera guy to come back over here. First of all, congratulations on the win. And if this was not a classic, I don't know what is. I don't know what it is either. I never expect to beat her because she's so good. Oh my God, I said. I can't believe this. I'm pinching myself. So we, wow. are, we are two for two now. Yeah, well, I, and I was here for both of them. I saw, I saw when she beat up on you, and now uh, you returned the favor. Yeah. So, what was going through your mind at the end? Were you thinking, oh, well, I'm going to be doing some bonus bowling now? No, I thought I had. As I said, all I need is eight, and I threw the ball, and it came up my hand so fast. Mm -hmm. I'm like a split. Lord, help me. That was Curtis first, by the way. What? That was Curtis Ford. Oh, absolutely. We're gonna we're going to bring him in momentarily. <laughs> but Claude, all the way back down from three one. You win the last three to get here. So that in itself is great against Segura, which is great. Then you have this, which is great. Next step up, Mega Bowl. You get to do some more traveling. Uh, Mega Bowl's in March, a couple weeks down the road. Actually, you got a little bit more than a month now. Going on down the road. Any thoughts on that? Who am I bowling? I don't know yet. I, I think I think uh, you'll find out in a week or two when, when everybody else does. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to try to make my spares, try to find the right balls, do musical balls all day long. Then I went back to the finally the first ball I had. Like, oh my God, this is too much. I didn't expect to win. Seriously, I didn't. You know what? And score says you won. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And this is a classic match going back and forth. Now let's bring in your pal Curtis. Mr. Warren, your presence is needed. You were, yeah, now, now you get the kiss. You're almost one of the biggest goats of all time, and I don't mean the greatest. So now, in public, you can apologize to Miss Hannibal for almost skewering her. I did? Well, oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Though that was two big shots. She threw the two big shots, and I guess I took it for granted that she would get eight or nine. I didn't, I didn't see that shot coming. You know, now, how did you feel on that last shot? Like crap. <laughs> well, you, you had all the jitters the first two? Mm -hmm. all the and, and then you just, huh. Mm. So, well, you got to realize in matches you could never, huh. especially, oh, it's nice especially, you that, especially it? against her. She's a strong, the strongest female finisher that I know. And you can never give her an inch because she will come back. She sure is. Yeah. You are so lucky that she won that because if she didn't win that, you're probably getting running over. You're probably not leaving this bowling alley. She, she would have won in the, um, the roll-offs. She, she had the best look. Mm -hmm. You know, um, after game five, after she lost, she had the best look. And she would probably throw four strikes that next round. I don't think Segura could have done that. This is Segura's highest game, and her toughness, her didn't want to give up, got her that game. The look on she, Hermes' face says to me, game. you better be real happy that that seven pin stayed up there and that I don't kill you. I that's was, that look. If you take the look at that face, was, that's what that face is saying right now. I that she was not going to get three strikes on that lane in the 10th frame. You're not buying any of this, are you? No, I didn't think so. I was very confident, and my He's confidence more confident prevailed. I am, because I'm the one throwing the ball. My yeah. confidence prevailed on that, on that. So now, next step, as I was telling Hermie, now I'm going to tell you. Next step, Mega Bowl. Belt will not be on the line, but additional money would be North versus South Fixes match. So I'm going to assume that next time we chat, if it goes to Game 7, you're going to stay with me until mathematically the game's over, and Hermie will tell me to bolt you into that chair. <laughs> no. When is it anyway? Next month. Next month. I believe second weekend in March. I believe. I don't. I don't know exactly. I'll find out. Mm. Okay. Well, we, we shall see. All right. But so it, it, it was more of the opponent, the moment, you know, and she came through through a great shot. I didn't pay attention to whatever. I just assumed she'd be fine on it on the third shot, and I'm never going to assume again. Simple. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, I will end this with you, Hermie. Uh, any shout outs, anything you want to say? Any last thoughts? Well, I want to shout out to Sigria. Uh -huh. Bowling at a great match. Because every time I bowl against her, she bowled well. That is true. And I'm so happy that I won today. So I can take you back to New York. All right. Well, congratulations at the end to finish this one out. And a fantastic weekend of bowling at the end. Hermie Hannibal is your new Northeast Fixers champion. Bell comes back to New York and we'll again, and we'll see her coming back down to Virginia and another notch to your Hall of Fame career. Congratulations. For Segura and for the, at least he knows that he's safe and he's not going to be destroyed by, by Hermie Curtis Ward. This is Gordon Pepper signing off. Have a good night. UBA all day. All right, here's yours. I'm going to go get the other one.